Okay, a man is pushing a heavy box with a force of 80 Newton and he moved the box 4 meter in 5 seconds. So the useful power developed by the man will be power is equal to work done over time. And work done is equal to force times distance over time. The force in this case it will be 8 Newton distance 4 meter and time taken is 5 seconds. So the answer that we get here it will be 64 watt. Answer B. Okay, uh, in this question we have a diagram that shows the mercury barometer. Okay, we need to understand that the barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. And the larger the atmospheric pressure, the larger the height of the mercury column recorded by the barometer. So when the barometer is being taken up in a balloon, it will uh, move up higher and higher and the atmospheric pressure it will decrease with height because the air at a higher height it will be less dense so it will bring about a lower atmospheric pressure and when the atmospheric pressure decreases the height that is being recorded it will decrease as well so the answer should be B Okay, we have a standing brick and we are asked to calculate the pressure that it exerts on the ground. We can use the formula, pressure is equal to force over area and the force in this case will be the weight, so a weight over area. The weight is 80 Newton and the area in contact is 10 cm by 5 cm. So it will be divided by 10 times 5 and the answer is option C. Some pollen grains that are suspended in water viewed from a microscope and the pollen grains are making small erratic movements. So why is this so? Okay, the pollen grain by right they should not be moving on their own. So the reason why they are moving is because they are being hit by the water molecule. So the answer is B. Okay, this is actually a experiment to demonstrate Brownian motion which is uh, to investigate the movement of the water molecules. Okay, uh, to answer this question we have to look at the two factors that affects pressure. Pressure of a gas depends on two factors. The first one it will be the speed of the molecules because the faster the, the gas molecule move it will hit the wall with a greater force and it will create a larger pressure. And the second factor it will be the frequency of collision. The more collisions there are, the larger force acting on the uh, wall, then the pressure will be higher. So um, we have some gas in a cylinder that is being heated up slowly to a higher temperature and the pressure of the cylinder remains constant. This is a keyword. And why is it that it remains constant? Because the piston moves outwards. So when the piston moves outwards, the volume increases. Okay, now uh, let's look at how the speed of the gas molecules and the rate of collision changes uh, upon this change. Okay, the speed of molecule, it has to be greater because the gas molecules, they are at a higher temperature. So higher temperature, they will have a greater kinetic energy, hence the speed will be larger. And now we look at the rate of collision. Because the pressure, it remains constant. And we know that uh, the pressure is constant and pressure depends on the speed of molecules and the frequency of collisions. So if this is a constant value and our speed has already increases, so the frequency of collision must decrease so that we can get constant pressure. So the answer should be B.